Scipio 2 here, going to be doing a uh, hopefully short and sweet follow-up video by request. This is for Joe Dirt and Zach Michael. They've previously requested an update on my Aero Precision NIB bolt carrier. Um, I apologize for taking so long to get to it. I honestly have no excuse. So, without any further ado, let's get to it. As you may have seen previously, I put together this uh, competition rifle. And in it was a um, Aero Precision NIB bolt carrier. So flip her open, pop out this pin. Things tend to be real tight on this. It has a tension screw and a receiver set. See my bolt retaining pin just fell out in my hand. Um, since I got that here, let me just go ahead and tell y'all. The cotter pin that normally goes into here to keep your firing pin in. This is a way better move here. Way better move. It's referred to as the M67 pin. It was originally spec for the design of the bolt and the gun and so forth, but was done away with as a price saving measure, I do believe. But um, these can be picked up and had relatively inexpensively. Uh, shout out to Paul Leitner Wise, they manufacture them so you can get it there. But uh, since that bad boy already popped out, we'll go ahead and tear the bolt down. Firing pin. Oh, uh, well, before I get too far, here it is. Here's the outside of it. This. Uh, bolt currently has somewhere in neighborhood of 1200 to 1500 rounds i don't have an exact spec i don't literally keep a tick chart for every round but it's in that neighborhood of 12 to 1500 rounds and i'm gonna guess uh maybe two months ago give or take i tore it apart and gave it its uh, first good cleaning since uh, putting it all together with the uh, frog lube and everything initially, then pulled it apart, cleaned it. As of note, it cleaned very easily. Literally 99% of everything just wiped off in my hand with a basic shop rag. Cleaned it all up, put it back together. So I would guess in the meantime, I've probably put between, I don't know, one and 300 rounds through it since then. So here's what it looks like with a couple hundred rounds through it. It is a full auto style. It does have the forward assist serrations. It's not that super mirror polished chrome looking finish. It's the kind of dull NIB finish. But anyway, that's uh, what it looks like with a couple hundred rounds in it. Pull the pin out. Or a cam bolt, I should say. Cam bolt's not really showing much for wear. A little bit of smegs on it there. Uh, firing pin, a little bit of smegs there, but I guess that just is going to wipe right off. Yep, like I figured. But um, firing pin looks pretty good. Go ahead and pop the bolt out. You see, it is an MPI bolt, and that's what she's looking like. And then here's the carrier stripped down. Put a little light on the subject maybe you guys will be able to see that down in there yay nay maybe they don't know but uh, anyway that is the Aero Precision NIB bolt carrier group looking real good um, maybe that's a little mark in it so maybe it's got a little bit of a mark there but you see on the ramps and the uh, race surfaces, it literally looks damn near brand new. So to say I'm pleased and satisfied would be kind of an understatement, I guess. I'm basically tickled pink. The bolt has performed flawlessly. I have absolutely zero complaints. <clears throat> Nothing but uh, satisfied goodness. And then uh, again, these M67 pins, they just clip into place. Find that sweet spot. 
Come on, you. Oh, lordy. What is your malfunction, Pi? Hmm. It's going to make a liar out of me. That thing wasn't bent or something, was it? <laughs> no. It looks good. I guess it's just hella tight. And then I dropped it. Oh, no, I didn't. It went in. Duh. It's been a long day, guys. I'm sorry I've been at a birthday party for my friend. So, anyway, but um, there it is. Aero Precision's nickel boron bolt. This is the 12 to 1500 round count. Pulled out, cleaned once. I'm going to literally stick it right back in the gun. I'm not going to put any additional lube on it. I'm not going to bother cleaning it. As you saw, it was fairly clean for only having a couple hundred rounds on it. But anyway, um, Joe, Zach, hope that answered y'all's questions. And uh, if it didn't, by all means, hit me back up and I'll see if I can uh, do it right the next time. And hopefully it won't take me a couple months to get around to it. Again, I apologize for that, but hope this answered y'all's questions. And uh, as always, I thank y'all for tuning in and watching my silliness and so forth. But uh, take care of yourselves, everybody. Take care of each other and God bless.